about you and your money. GECU is our uh, partner on these interviews. Right now, here's Alex Rascon, Assistant Vice President for Regional Branches in East El Paso. Thanks for being our guest. Thank you for having us. Getting out of debt. Boy, a few minutes isn't long enough for this one. <laughs> Get us started, though. Well, you know, being in debt is something that a lot of people are going to come across all their lives. So it's being able to recognize those instances and knowing when they're getting too far into debt to right. ask for some help. Right. And uh, it's easy enough to say don't get in debt in the first place. But right. We're past that. We're moving on to, to trying to get out. And there are a lot of theories about this. I've heard you, you, if you have a number of debts, pay the smallest one first to encourage yourself. Gee, yes. I'm, I'm on a snowball towards eliminating debt. What's that's your correct. best advice at GECU? I, that's one of the tips that we also offer, as well as setting a budget and recognizing what your spending habits are and being able to, write, to decide where you want to cut your spending and then start with those small ones and build up to those bigger ones. Right, and, and you offer advice on that? Yes, we do. We have financial counselors as well as some financial tools on our website where members or, or any non-member can go to and access that information. We also have free seminars throughout all of our locations throughout the city. Okay, so advantage. do I understand you to say you do not have to be a GECU member to, to enjoy those resources? For the financial seminars, no, they don't. They can come to any of those financial seminars and they do not have to be a member. Okay. What about the kinds of debts that you have? I mean, if you, uh, if you owe money to a department store on their credit card, that's one thing. But, you know, the IRS might be a different thing yes. if you're facing back taxes. So there has to be a strategy, I imagine there is, on recognizing the kind of debts that you're facing. Yes, there is. And one of the things that anyone can do is talk to someone, a financial advisor, uh, someone at our credit union would be able to help them out to identify which of those debts are a priority so that they can take care of those most important ones first. You probably uh, do a lot of counseling on whether ultimately bankruptcy is an option. I know it's sort of the nuclear option yes. and there's uh, usually pretty strong advice against it for different reasons. What's your stance on that? Bankruptcy is something that we try to keep our members away from and it's something that we will do anything that we can as far as the information that we provide and the tips we provide to steer them away from that and being able to make those changes on their own. But ultimately there are instances where bankruptcy is the last resort. Oftentimes a creditor will call you if you're in trouble and say let's make a deal. Uh, you have $1,500 in debt, we'll do it for 900 Now, that sounds like the easy way out, but would that hurt your credit ultimately? It can still affect your credit, and it's called a settlement. Uh, usually, if someone's going to do that, we do recommend for them to get a letter stating that that 900 is going to show their balance paid in right. full, which will help them in the long run right, with the credit right. rating. Okay, Alex, again, just repeat what kind of resources are available for people. We have financial counselors available at all of our offices. We also have our website. Uh, that anyone can go to and look up the financial resources there as well as some financial calculators on our website. Well, excellent. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for your involvement all this month on uh, Money Monday. Well, thank you very much. Okay, thank you, sir. All right. Uh, seasonal mobile markets launching in San Elizario. Folks there will be able to snap or use food stamp benefits to purchase local produce. This market's part of an overall effort by the local women's organization to improve food access and community health. And uh, folks will also be able to utilize uh, a lot of resources there, adults and children, 